Last summer, I posted my unboxing of the 2021 Canyon Neuron 6. To date, that video has had over 20,000 views, which tells me there's plenty of riders who wanted to know whether or not the Neuron is the bike for them. Well, I've now been riding it for about a year, so this time on 5 Minute Rides, I'll share what I really think now that I've put some good mileage on the Canyon Neuron 6. You've seen me give this bike a serious run for its money, with fun stuff like this, this, and more. And you've seen your share of not so fun crashes too. The Neuron 6 is the entry level AL model. At the time, I did consider the AL7, but budget conscious, I decided to save a little. Of course, over the past year I've made a few mods, and spent the extra dollars anyway. But I haven't necessarily turned my Neuron 6 into a 7. After my Green Valleys video, some people were surprised by my riding, leaving comments like, wow, all this on a Neuron? Yes, 130mm of travel front and rear is a trail bike. Not an enduro bike, and not XC. But somewhere in between is quite perfect for the diverse range of trails I ride. I only have room for one bike, so a do-it-all mountain bike is what I needed. And from technical trails with rocky climbs, to jumps, drops and flowy downhill, the Neuron has been my faithful steed. It's a comfortable bike. It pedals up and down easily. The dropper post is super convenient. And the Canyon frame is clearly a sturdy build. And I've enjoyed riding it. I have, however, made a few modifications over the past year. First up, the Iridium saddle it comes with is just painful. And I immediately swapped it out for a much more comfortable Giant Connect upright saddle taken from my previous bike. The only thing was that the Giant Connect saddle off my old bike was red and black, and I hated the way it looked on my new black and silver Canyon. So I actually repurchased another Giant Connect saddle with matching colors, and I've ridden happily ever after. My second mod was to go tubeless. Thankfully, the bike comes tubeless ready, so it was an easy upgrade, and I've not had a single puncture in 12 months of riding. My third mod was by force rather than choice. I put the 1UP components alloy pedals on the bike, which I'm very happy with, but I didn't tighten them properly and on my second ride I smashed a pedal against a rock, tearing the thread out from within the crank arm. So less than a week into ownership and I was already footing the bill for new cranks. Lesson learned, get someone who knows what they're doing to put the pedals on. Back when I was selecting the size, I found myself on the cusp of medium and large which is quite a conundrum to be in since you can't exactly throw your leg over a bike with an online order. Once I got the bike and started riding, I knew the large was right, but the reach always seemed just a tiny bit too far. Thankfully, Santa solved that for me at Christmas with a nuke-proof 50mm stem and a 25mm carbon riser bar. That small change made a huge difference to my overall comfort. And finally, my most recent upgrade was to the RockShox 35 Gold 150mm Travel Fork. Yes, I decided at the one year mark to increase the travel. Only recently, I had Dan, the mobile trail mechanic, around at my house to take care of the install. And that same afternoon, I was crushing rocks on a few of my favourite single tracks. So, what's the overall verdict on the Canyon Neuron 6? Well, putting it through its paces, it's definitely stood the fun test, stood the strength test, and continues to ride like the day UPS knocked on my door. I love this bike, and if you're looking for a value for money, all round dual suspension trail bike, then I'm sure you will too. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please check out my other videos, and remember to like and subscribe for more 5 Minute Rides.